According to what I've heard, the world is round. But is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the Earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs>
Must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. Now, they must have known we were coming. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? You don't even know Monokuma. That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Should, do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here!
A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Yes, now please! Call the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. Ugh. I'm hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... Emergency! Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! Take refuge immediately! I repeat, citizens of Toa City, take refuge! You say that, but... What should I do? No sense! Why is this happening? This gun is amazing! I'm definitely gonna get out of here!
Hey, Masaru. Do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. Tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Geez, what are you so mad about? Oh, wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Don't come over here! Please stop! Come on, stop! of Mr. Monokuma. This town, this dirty, lame, worthless, pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Good. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. But the school covered it up, so it was too late when the world finally realized. It grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder, the violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, 
driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. You guys. Uh, are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? How did you know? I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? G go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. But what about you? <laughs> Hurry. You gotta get out of here. Hey. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the town. It's in ruins. Dad! Mom! Makoto! Your foundation? Hmm? Um, this guy called Byakuya Tagami said that you guys could rescue me.
What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He... he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please! You have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything. I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all this, the world just crumbled. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city. And that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... singing? Over there! <laughs> okay, 
Get back! This way! Get off! <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? <laughs> you look completely exhausted. Who, who are you? Me. Oh. My name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you, now that you're trapped here, in this place. What's going to happen to me? Huh? Uh, apologies. Your reaction was so... normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. So, that's why you pass. What, what are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. 
It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. I'll be going on ahead. What the heck? What is going on now? again. The gun. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? something again. You're those kids! The kids who were on TV! Oh, 
Oh, man! I'm famous! <laughs> I'd autograph your back anytime. <laughs> I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back, too. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. was Jim, so they called me Lil Ultimate P.E. Aha! A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate P.E. I even impress myself. Huh. You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All he did was win rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't matter. I'm still the leader! I won, so I'm the leader! The leader! Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the Sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the Vice Leader of Sorts. My name is Nagisa Shingetsu. In the Warriors of Hope, I act as the Vice Leader and Sage. When I attended elementary school, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Of course, social studies is but one area of my expertise. I excel at all scholarly pursuits. I was labeled Little Ultimate Social Studies because I was raised to be among society's elite. And I suppose I am a babysitter of sorts for the Warriors of Hope, Monica excluded. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Huh? Hope's Peak? You mean... that Hope's Peak? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I... I, I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the Academy. Huh. Such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Um, who was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Komori. You know how when you stare into moving bicycle spokes, you get all scared? Like, for some reason, you imagine how painful it would be to put your hand in? Oh, um, my name is Jachiro Kamuri, and bird skin isn't yummy no matter how you cook it. I was really good at arts and crafts, so they called me Little Ultimate Art. 
If it's arts and crafts, leave it to me. I can remove nails and varnish and things. I do the priest thing for the warriors of hope. Oh, and also, I wonder if aliens exist. And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. Aww, you said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. Oh, my chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw, reach inside and scrape my nails on it. Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long. Uh, um... Well, anyway, don't worry about Jatiro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe! Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Kotoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. Toko Utsugi, and I play the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. You might think the fighter would be a boy, but nope, I'm totally a girl. I love girly things and peeled chestnuts. If it's totally adorbs, I love it! And I was pampered as the little ultimate drama in elementary school. But who cares about that old stuff? I'm so happy to meet you. I was called little ultimate drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts! Uh... Um... <laughs> and hey, did you know? Kangaroos can jump backwards! And, and, and believe it or not, Snakes have ears! Ew! <laughs> yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies! Monica is a mage. Monica is called Monica. Monica's a mage in the Warriors of Hope. I was known as Little Ultimate Homeroom while I was in elementary school. You might think there are no ultimates and commons in a class like Homeroom, but there are. For me, my skill isn't really about uniting people, it's about getting them all to help me. Believe it or not, I bring together a lot of wonderful people. It would be nice if you could be a wonderful person for Monica too. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Lil' Ultimate Homeroom. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom! The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! Uh, but... You are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. Mm -hmm. No? The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody really wants me in the group. And I'm the party leader, which makes me the number one king of this town. Uh... Um... You... You kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings. Joking around? I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Just kids.
kids. Huh? Aw, that's the only thing I can say. Just aw. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered! Like the sound of bloody chopped meat! <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages! <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Monica's smile is so adorbs! Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up! N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made up children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. But can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Mm. It doesn't have to make any sense. That's all. If Monica wants Uh-oh. Th this is bad. Monica's mad. It's going to be all right, Monica. Please, don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black, cats are dogs, and um... What else? Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? How dare you make Monica mad! That's the last straw! As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down! H hunt? Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. <laughs> It was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Ta-da! Demon hunting! Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the Warriors of Hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun! And our very own Monica came up with it! See, Monica? We're going to play our special game! No need to be upset now, right? Hmm. Yes, yes! So exciting! Let's do it! Come on, hurry up and let's do it! No. Target, you mean? You, hurry up and prepare the device. What is this? 
This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay then, now we're ready. Let's go hunting! Well, wait, wait, hold on! This is a break, isn't it? You're just kidding around! You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand! I'd be no good at this game! If you throw me into that town, I just get killed immediately, and that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Mm -hmm. Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone. Be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Uh. Hey! No talking without the leader's permission! You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut! <laughs> That is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it! W why What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! You're too funny! <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt! We play the games because they're fun. Duh. It's the only reason. You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. But, to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. There is still much work to be done to build our paradise, yet here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants it done, so it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. And I love what Monica loves! So that's basically the situation. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks! Y yeah Thank you. Oh, That's so not fair! I want to eat Monica's cookies, too! Hey, Monica! What about me, the leader? Why? How can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're... you're not normal! Hmm... Of course an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? Also, Kamaru Naegi... In your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path. Because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You are falling into an abyss. The darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this!
child's ears are... Wonderful ears! A child's eyes are... Adorable eyes! A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! Why is it so big? To gobble up the demons! <laughs> All right, game on! Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my! It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter! At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader! Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great! Someone go buy some! Leader's orders! <laughs> and just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. With your lack of distinct characteristics, so common, so dull, so boring. <laughs> <laughs>